Hi everyone and welcome to the Midweek Shave. <laughs> right, hope you've had a fantastic week so far. Um, weather news first and this is mainly for people who are not in the UK obviously. We've had a bit of a hot, clammy, summery type weather. Been fantastic. Tomatoes, thanks for watching that. Uh, they're doing well. My first year chili plant pepper so we'll see how they all go um, I might keep you informed with a few videos here and there if um, if you're interested and if you're not uh, please don't feel you have to watch them um, this oh hope you've had a good week and some good shaves um, I was excited you know when you think you've found everything you've bought everything and the bloody blah, blah and thank you to the viewer subscriber um, pointed me into the direction of a shaving soap with a scent of coal tar, old fashioned soap. Uh, I've shown you in one of the videos, it's um, Wright's coal tar soap. In fact, it was sold by a company I've dealt with before who were in South Wales, Scent of Heaven. And I've featured one of their soaps fantastic soap and scent so I'm thrilled to bits um, looking forward to receiving that okay so <clears throat> today's shave is going to be a basic empty the sink a basic box standard inexpensive shave and the reason for that is my next shave on Sunday is going to be one of the most expensive shaves I've ever done so I'm using today the old The Big Shave shaving scuttle. I've got no hot water in it as it's quite warm out. And I've got a small disc, I don't know if you can see it there, stuck to the side, a small disc of Arco shaving soap. And that's been in there for months. What I do when I finish this shave, I'll rinse all this and I'll leave the soap in the bottom to dry. Um, because it's, it's only small, it doesn't crack and I've just rehydrated it by soaking it in warm water along with a brush and I've come up with this sort of thick creamy lather um, it's not True Fit and Hill, it's not Tale of Old Bond Street it's not £20 a tub so that you have to take into consideration it is what it is very plain Scent. Some people don't like the scent of Arco, but I quite like it. Um, so we're coming up with this. It's a, a nice, th thick, creamy, peaked lather. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. So, again, I'm using my Yuma al aluminium, aluminium razor it's tainted in color because it does over time it's 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 a uh, it's a remake of the old Gillette's if you like but it's very light it's hollow handle uh, quite an aggressive razor this not as when you think of it you think oh it's a cheap thing it'll be won't be much it's it's got a bit of bite to it um, as you can see the blade exposure if I put my hand there hopefully you see the gap there's quite a bit of a bite to it and a considerable overhang on the on the each side of the blade, so that needs to be taken care of when you're using it. And this is the blade I'm using. I'm using a brand new Big Ben blade, and uh, I've just wet re wet my face because I've not long come out of the shower. Using my Omega bore brush with a stiffer knot. Look at that. So don't tell me you can't get a good shave out of cheap. Well, as we all know, don't we? But uh, this has got a stiffer knot and it's good for doing hard soaps. Look at that, <laughs> eh? Yeah, so hope you've all had a good week and the weather's doing okay. Look at that, that's like a typical old fashioned what you want it to look like, isn't it? This is an Arco soap holder fond memories in my heart. A lot of the best shaves I've ever had with this. Right. 
rinse and be quiet Paul and concentrate. Rinse the razor, right off we go. Here we go. No pressure again, just glide. You can hear it doing its job very well. Good combination. Good combination. I'll make a note of that in a minute. Big Ben with humour. You look at this now, right? No pressure. Can you see the growth there? No pressure, right? Just dust it, look at that. It won't take it all off in the first pass. Because you come in back twice and it will do it bit by bit as you go along. And that reduces irritation radically. Little things sometimes can make a massive difference. And again, I'm not using those lights as the sun. I've got the lights on in the bathroom, but uh, at the moment, as I film, it seems in this screen to be quite good. And I've had a lot of uh, feedback, people saying actually they, uh, I think some people watch me on the television, through their television. And, um, they say how good the picture is and clear, so hopefully that's true um, and it carries on that way. So, But as it gets, I can tell when I'm filming if I need the lights really, but it's only this type of shot I'm not sure of, but I think it's okay. Um, we'll see. Right, another, look at this, the typical old fashioned look in it. And there's good ridges in this um, shaving scuttle which is excellent for hard soaps and hard brushes to aerate the soap and give it some good creamy lather. And I've got a piece of the brush there, look at that. <laughs> yeah, so um, next, next shave, uh, I was given a present by my wife and I couldn't believe it when she Got it. I'd never heard of it. It was the price I couldn't believe, actually. But after trying it, um, I was very pleased. I've never... Anyway, I won't go too much into it, I'll spoil it. But it will be one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, shaves I've ever done. Not that that's a good thing, because this is one of the least expensive shaves. Not dear, blades not dear, soap's not dear, um, and the brush isn't dear, and you don't have to use a shaving scuttle, but um, I should get an equally excellent shave from this. And hopefully, doing these videos using various costly and not costly products will show that uh, you don't have to be a millionaire to have a good shave. And that's the sound you want. Right. Oh, I'm just going to cross the cross here. To there. Because it grows across, you see there. Uh, it grows that way, so that's going across, and then here it starts to go down, so that's across. Um, sometimes you might think, oh, I can't be bothered remembering all that, I don't know which way my hair grows, and bloody blah, blah, blah. But if you suffer from irritation or razor burn, it will make a big difference. And after a couple of shaves of remembering which way your hair grows, it'll come automatically. 
and it does help. Um, I mean, look at this. Eh? This is this. Look at look. It's a basic scent. As I say, some people don't like it, but I love it. It's. Uh, I mean, look at the for the price. I mean, come on, come on, go on. Put your fingers to the screen. Have a, eh? Not bad, is it? <laughs> if you put your hands up, then <laughs> you're as mad as me. Right, third pass, final against the growth. And that's the sound you want. Again, no pressure, guide it nice and steady. See? Not a mild razor. It's um, bordering. It's in the middle for me, but it is bordering the aggressive side because there's a bit of a bite to it. <laughs> it made me laugh. Somebody said they could watch me daily. Um, I forget who it was now, so I could watch videos of you daily. Because sometimes I think that um, I have little ideas, like the greenhouse, the tomato idea. And I think, no, you know, they've seen enough of me. They, I've had one video up this morning. and But it's not the case. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. So, as I say, what I'll do, if ever I think of anything like that, um, I'll put it up and please don't feel you have to watch it if you don't want to. I understand fully. You know, you got more to your life than watching me, really. But hopefully these just a sort of a bit of a get together twice a week. Uh, and then also a bit of help for people if they need it. From a non-expert, I'm not an expert by any means because we're all still learning. I mean, look at my last video. I think I got the name of the razor on. However, I'll just say something about that. Um, I, I am in contact, you know, with some, a bit of an expert in razors. And when I need help, they do uh, help me out. And sometimes they become stuck. But um, I shown them the razor in a bit of detail. And they couldn't clarify whether the razor was a 1940s. It could have been, uh, how did he say it? From 1937 up to, so it could have been. That's the reason I haven't changed, because somebody said this isn't um, a Ranger Tech, just doing the um, pickups. It's a uh, Rocket HD. And I left a comment saying, Do you know, I think you're absolutely right. Because when I looked at the um, things I've got here, I noticed, well, the only thing I could see was the um, Ranger Tech had some writing in the clear ring, whereas the Rocket HD didn't. Um, but talking to this other chap, he said, well, I wouldn't go too far. It may be... Um, so it's a bit of a mystery one. I think it is a, probably a, a, a Rocket HD. So I think you're right if you're watching. Thanks very much. And this is where, it, you know, I'm not an expert, especially in models and dates of razors. Uh, I've got a good idea of things, but I do get it wrong. And it's fantastic people um, who put it right in the, in the, um, in the comments sometimes. And the only time I would ever argue is if I know I'm right, but I don't. So thanks very much for your, for your input. 
However, I was lucky enough to, um, to be able to use that razor. It was a, a loan to me and lovely. Oh, do you know what? I, uh, God, there's something on my towel. Bloody cat. Anyway, probably have a stroke now, sorry. Um, <laughs> this soap, the Arco soap, I could taste it then a bit. And it reminds me of the old school soap, the national um, government issued soap we used to have in school. And it's that type of soap, but in shaving form. Um, it's, ch it's cheap. Mind you, the prices of this is going up on sites as well uh, because it's becoming popular. But it's a cheap shaving soap and it does the job. There's no bells, whistles, and you know, it doesn't talk to you when you're depressed. It just does the job as it should do and uh, performs a lather. Right, Arco, Arco, Arco. Arco action. I enjoy Arco, I'm not sponsored by Arco, in case people think, oh yeah, somebody's... Arco sent him a load of stuff. Oh, that's what I'm going to tell you. Sent me a load of stuff. Come on. Right. I've ordered some new uh, shaving soaps, balms and colognes. Now, some of them are from... Some of them are this, some new stuff. Uh, and other, you know, different types. And then the, as I said, the cold tar soap. Uh, all of the sort of stuff. So whatever I use, I will put links in the description. Just for your information. It's not there for you to go and buy them where I get paid and nothing like that. Some people in, in this idea that I get paid. I do get sent products sometimes. As you will see in the next one, I'm using a soap which was sent to me by the company as a thank you. Watch the video, said, hey, glad you like the, vid uh, the video, glad you like the soap or the cream, whatever. We'd like to send you a sample as a thank you. So what I do is, I'm not paid, but I'm grateful that they've sent it. And I will use it in a video, give my honest opinion, and put a link to their website in the description. You know, nobody, I'm not telling anybody to go and buy it um, or anything like that. It's just the information's there. If you want to look at their site, see what else they sell, you might, you know, it, it helps. Uh, I find in the comments of my video, sometimes people say, hey, you like lemon? Have a look at this. And it's some, I've searched for lemon shaving soap or cologne, and it's the same old thing you find. But all of a sudden, this person's left a comment, and you think, fantastic, that's just what I've been looking for. And you know, so they're not getting paid to send me that comment, they're just doing it out of there because they know I'd enjoy the information. Uh, and that's the same for me, you know, I'm not telling anybody to buy anything or anything like that, I'm just giving my honest opinion. I'm only a working man in my own bathroom, um, just giving my point of view and sometimes I get sent stuff by the viewers as well, you people out there, you know who you are, very, very kind people to send um, things through and yeah, it's fantastic. So thanks very much, and hereby endeth the lesson uh, on this uh, day of Sunday. No, it's not Sunday, it's midweek. So we'll have a recap. God, I'm on about rubbish. The humour, aluminium, aluminium, razor, very lightweight, hollow. It's a sort of remodel of the, they've copied the Gillettes at one time, or the Merca. Looks like one of the Mercas actually as well. Anyway, blade overhang, quite uh, quite a lot there, if you can see. Uh, use the Big Ben brand new blade, fantastic com combination. That's going in a little notebook I got of combinations. I keep notes when they work well. They're a good idea as well because you'll sometimes you'll never forget. No, sometimes you'll never remember because um, you might not use this razor for weeks, months. And you'll think, well, what was that blade I used in that? And then, so it's just handy. Well, that's just me being weird. 
Yuma, fantastic, lightweight, good travel razor, wouldn't worry too much if you lost it, as long as you bought a spare. Um, and yeah, performed lovely. Then, I used the Big Shave Shaving Scuttle. These were made for Steve Farragher for the Big Shave. This is the first lot, there is a new version now, I think it go a bit deeper. But this is the first batch. And if you can see in there, you can see that little disc of Arco. Hardly touched it in the shave. Plenty left. Thick, creamy, beautiful. I'll rinse all this out, air dry this, and I'll leave that disc in the bottom for next time. Lasts for months and months. Omega bore brush, blue handle. Yet again, good with a stiff knot for the soaps. Rinsed off with water. Arco Action Cologne, high alcohol, sting, closes the pores, and um, lovely. Not it's not a strong scent, but it's a nice scent. And then this, which I'm going to apply now, and uh, that will do you. Then I think, won't it? So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to make myself a coffee. i got a lot to do today. Uh, filming a bit. Uh, I've bought a couple of new cameras, actually. Um, one is a GoPro. And the other one is a digital DSLR. I think it's a, it wasn't a very expensive one as they go, but the, it was a, a Canon D3200, I think, and I bought a couple of lenses with it, macro lenses. And I might use that in a couple of these videos when I want to do specialist close up video or, you know, whatever. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway. Waffling on again, baby. So that's everything. Arco cream, that's lovely stuff. You'll shine now for an hour or two and then uh, it'll disappear. No irritation, no cuts, no nicks, no nout. Um, so I wish you a fantastic rest of this week. Thanks for putting along with this tripe as normal, just going on about nothing. Uh, I do apologise sometimes for just going on and on, just get on with a damn shave, would you? Yes, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> have a great week, have some great shaves. I hope you find some good products and um, new ideas, new combinations of blades and razors and all sorts of stuff. It's all good fun. And especially when you find something that's that nugget of gold that works for you. And it makes a massive difference then. So. Thanks for watching. As I say, have a good week and I'll see you on the weekend for the Sunday Shave.